Attention all women of faith. Are you ready to turn your passions into profitable and spiritually fulfilling side hustles with the gifts that you have been blessed with? I know you have been in this purpose searching season because I've seen comments under my video. I'm not sure exactly what is my purpose, but let me tell you, my sister, your purpose is to glorify God using your gifts and your skills that you have been blessed with. Let me remind you with this scripture reading taken from Romans 12 verses 6 to 8. We have different gifts according to the grace given to each one of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully, my sister. No. You see, we are all blessed with unique gifts. Now, in this video, I'm going to help you to unwrap your gifts so that you can use it to impact others while making an income from your gift that you have been blessed with. Remember, God told us that your gifts will make room for you. Your gifts can take you places. Your gifts can provide a food on your table. So you have to uncover that gift, unwrap that gift, and use it to enlighten somebody else's life. Because somebody is waiting for that book. Somebody is waiting for that devotional. Someone is waiting for that motivating and spiritually enriched podcast. While you are there sitting, praying, having tons and tons of books with ideas, sitting in the prayer closet and praying for God to send you the sign. Well, if it's the sign you're waiting for, this is it. In this video, you are going to start activating that gift. You have been watching videos upon videos, all my videos of how to start a side hustle, right? But now is the time to activate that gift to bless somebody else. Now, let's get right into today's video where I will be encouraging you, showing you how you can start a faith-based business to build the kingdom of Christ. In this video, we're going to form an empowerment brand, a faith-based empowerment brand. So you're going to brand yourself with a faith-based empowerment business. So whether your gift, as according to the Bible scripture that I just read, whatever gift you have, I'm going to show you how you can use that gift. We all are unique. We all are specific. Teaching might not be your gift. Encouraging might not be your gift. But your gift might be a sense of style and fashion, which takes us to the first side hustle that you can create. How about creating a boutique, an online boutique, showcasing, mixing fashion and faith? right? So in this online boutique, you can set up an online store, get a website, you can use Shopify, you can use Squarespace. There are several different websites out there that you can use for this online platform to showcase your style of fashion and style to combine both of them, fashion and faith, to form a kingdom building business. Now, with this business setup, you can design and create empowering, spiritually empowering messages on t-shirts, on hoodies, on apparels, and all those things, right? So you can find your favorite Bible scriptures. You can put them on shirts, whatever spiritually enriching message that you're going to put on your apparels. And this boutique will showcase your empowerment brand with spiritually empowering apparel. Showcasing the Christ your Christian values, building the kingdom. Are you blessed with the gift of writing? Remember, as the scripture said, we all have unique gifts and skills. Now, if you are blessed in this area of writing, how about creating some products? It can be either digital or physical products. So if you know that 
you have the potential to write a devotional, a prayer journal. These are devotionals and prayer journals that I have bought. And actually, these authors, I actually know them. This is my sister, Dawn. Dawn Charleston Green. She wrote this awesome five-day morning coffee devotional. Five days. See, this is an example of something you can do. My other sister, Ashley, she did this prior journal how about this how about doing something like this and with this prior journal you see she also has a bookmark so there are several different ways that you can use your gift of writing if you don't want to do products like these then of course you can start a blog start blogging and with this blog you can incorporate affiliate marketing so even if you have products like these, you put them into your faith-based blog for your Christian empowerment girls out there who are not so, you know, those baby Christian, because I consider myself a baby Christian, right? So I like things like books like these that can help me on my faith walk with Christ. So if you are gifted in that area, these are different ideas for you to start doing as writing. You can even take it to another step of being the author for Christian fiction and nonfiction books. You can put them up on Amazon KDP. Amazon will do all the publishing, take care of all the publishing and all that stuff for you on Amazon KDP. And I'm doing, I will be doing another video of how to write a book, of how to self-publish a book, maybe something like these. If you are interested in that video of self-publishing your, your book, your devotional, self-publishing your first book, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to do that video for you. Okay, I got it. Writing is not your thing. <laughs> Fashion is not your thing. But you're gifted with organizing and planning events how about you start up a christian event some retreat some convention some sort of getaway to refuel women of faith christian women who are drained you know women we have so many hats to wear so many roles to fulfill and sometimes we just need that time and space to get away to meditate to get realigned spiritually right so if this is your gifting in planning and organizing stuff then there you go this is a great idea where you can plan retreat and events for your faith-based woman. And with this retreat and events, you can make it maybe quarterly or annually or monthly, however often you choose where you see the need for it. While you're on that retreat journey, you can incorporate your products. So I'm taking you where I'm layering up your products so you can see how you're forming an empowerment brand, right? So you print your shirts, you print, you, you get extra copies of your devotionals and your books and you add them to the package. So they're actually paying for those products within the retreat package. How does that sound? Let me know in the comments. And if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please, I welcome you to join this family of thriving women or as we're living an abundant lifestyle in Christ, right? So go ahead and hit the subscription button while you're at it. Hit the notification bell because you will see when the next video drops. Next up in line, if you know that you have been blessed with the gift of empowering, encouraging, motivating, and uplifting others, as the scripture reading says here, you, if you have been blessed with empowering, why not empower and uplift someone? And again, we are reminded in 1 Peter 4 verses 10, each of you should use whatever gifts you have to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. 
So again, my sister, if you have been blessed with the gift of empowerment, as for me, I can use myself as, a, as an example here. At one point while I was on the same purpose searching journey, while I was constantly asking, what is my gift? What is my purpose? How can I make an impact also while making an income? But as you know, making an impact is the first thing because we are created to serve, right? So while you're serving, making that impact, in, the income will come down the road, right? So I was on this journey. I started digging up on how to find, how to discover my spiritual gifts. And there are several online platforms that you can use. Um, there's quizzes that you can use to discover your spiritual gifts. Now, throughout this purpose searching season, I realized that my spiritual gift was empowerment, which is encouraging and faith. So what I did at the time, I created an apparel brand. So that apparel brand, so that's why I'm telling you, I'm speaking to you from my experience, right? So that empowerment brand, I had different shirts with different spiritually empowering messages. And while I was doing that, then I discovered I like talking, I like the camera, I like motivating and encouraging, and that's how I started my YouTube channel here, to serve, to take others on what I have been through on my journey, as if you have been following me from the beginning, following me for a while, you've seen that I've moved here to Canada as a single mom, and through my videos, I'm so happy that I took this step because I have had the privilege of serving, of helping others on the journey. If you go through those videos and you see all those comments of people, you know, so grateful for, sh for me sharing my story, sharing my experience as a new immigrant here in Canada, then you see the impact that I've been obedient in my calling throat at season to serve. So for you, what is it that you can do on YouTube here on this platform, whether it's sharing your personal story, taking persons on your personal journey of how you have overcome, you know, obstacles that you have overcome, things that you have been in and know you have been through those valleys and know you're sitting at the eating table. Think about it. What is something that you can share with somebody else to uplift them spiritually, financially, mentally? uplift them so that is using your gift so if you're blessed with the spirit of encouraging and motivating i would encourage you to start up a youtube channel no don't say ah there are different ways of encouraging and empowering if you do not like the camera you can create faith. another option is to create a basis youtube channel if that is not your thing either then you can start a podcast now with podcasts, there are video podcasts and there is um, podcasts where you can do without showing your face, right? So if you like, you, if you have that sort of voice, you know, that podcast voice, you know, you're blessed with that nice sort of voice, soothing, calming voice, then you can start a podcast. Podcast encouraging others, sharing the gospel of Christ to build the kingdom of Christ. You can also do interview podcasts where you can invite guests on your podcast who have been through things through life. They have, they have overcome some adversity throughout life and they want to share their story. Now, sharing their story will help someone who has been through, who are currently in their shoe that they have been in that valley of darkness, you will help them also to be sitting at the eating table. How about that? How does that sound? Let me know in the comments which one you will be doing, whether it will be a podcast or a YouTube channel. I've seen several spiritually fulfilling YouTube channels that I follow to help me. As I just said, I'm, I consider myself a baby Christian to help me on my spiritual walk of faith as a woman of faith. And lastly, you can tap into your creativity if you know you're gifted with your hands in heart and craft. You can create items sharing the gospel of faith, of hope, of love. So this is an idea that just came to my mind of using the spiritual gifts. You know, kindness, patience, gentleness, love, joy, peace. You can put them on different arts and crafts. 
create an Etsy store or another online website where you can sell those arts and crafts. I've in the past I've sold the bracelets with um with again peace, love, patience with the fruits of the spirit. So whatever it is that you know you are gifted with specifically heart and craft, then why not start your your crafting business around faith, around Christianity to empower women of faith? Yes, go ahead and spread the gospel of Christ to build the kingdom. Remember now, as women of faith, your side hustle is not just about making money, but about making a difference in the lives of others. May your entrepreneurial journey be guided by faith, purpose, and abundance. Thank you so much for joining in this empowering journey. And may God bless your endeavors in business and spirituality. Now we will close out with this final Bible verse to remind us today. Proverbs 18 verses 16. A gift opens the way and ushers the giver into the presence of the great my sister. Now I hope this video finally helps you to unwrap your gifts and to go home and spread the gospel of Christ on your entrepreneurial journey. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.